Hello everyone, Salam alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic tools to create line following vehicle model, such as this one. I don't want the output to be the same. I want to see different designs, different colors, different shapes as well. So here, I want you to learn the tools that will help you to create your own line following vehicle. Okay, so before starting the video, I put the link down here in the description. It will take you to this video. Here you have to create an account, follow the steps. If you don't have the software, you need to download it from here. If you are using Windows here, if you are using Mac here, if your account is expired, so you have a red or orange window, you need to follow the steps in this video. Okay, now let's get started. First step, you can search here, Vuegen 363 and open the software or you can find it in your desktop. So double click here. Now, as a first step, you need to upload the version of the chassis. We do have three versions. You can choose any of them. But in this video, I will uh, explain about the four wheel version. So how to do that? Click on new design from file. I already download the chassis in my laptop. You can find the link in the description below. Just download it and then open it from here. Double click. Now it's uploading. I will explain everything in this video. If you haven't worked on Vuegen before, it's fine. You can do a wonderful work today, okay? It's fine. So first of all, you need to know uh, about some good tools here. For example, this one, the orbit. The orbit, you can uh, have the orbit view, as you can see, okay? So all the time, if you are stuck with here, always go to this cube, you can find home. You just give one click here and then go again, click on the home view. It will take you back to the original view here, okay? Also, you can go to the pan here. If you click on the pan, there will be a hand. You can move your design up, down, right, left, whatever. Also, there's another good tool here, the zoom. So zoom in or zoom out, just go up or down. If you are stuck, you don't know how to, to go back, you just go always to the home view. Double click, double click, okay? Also, you need to know about the cube view here. You can click on here, here, if you want to turn it or to, to look at it from back, from left, from this corner, from right. Click here, back, and so on. Always, if you are stuck, just click on this home view, okay? The second thing you need to know is the browser here. So you can uh, go in the browser, okay? Here, the light is for the whole object. You can hide it or show it. You have here named views, the top, front, and stuff. Here, you have the origin. You can click on the arrow here to, to find what is inside this origin. As you can see, you have the planes X, Y, X, uh, Z, Y, Z. Okay, if you open, if you click on it, if it's yellow, mean it will be there. If it's hidden, that's mean it will be hidden if it's blue. Okay, so this is regarding the origin. And this is the chassis that you just downloaded, okay? Also, in the chassis, you have origin. Each component, you will have origin. Okay. Again, what is this chassis and what is the component here? As you can see, all the components are listed down here. DC motor, one DC motor, it's connected to the wheel. So when this DC motor, second one, third one, and fourth one, so you have four DC motors. What else do you have? You have a battery. This is the battery. You have Arduino, so this is Arduino, I will hide it. I will hide, I will hide the battery. I will hide the motor driver. And now I will hide the IR sensors. Uh, this one is used for detecting the uh, line. 
So I will hide the three IR sensors. As you can see, the, there are holes here. Let me put the DC motors back so you will have the vision of your uh, design. Finally, the more important thing is here. There uh, is different area to work. Always work on the model. Make sure you are clicking on the model here. To create the shell, first of all, you need to create a plane to work on. Okay, so how to do so? Just go to construct and then click on offset plane and then click on this rectangular here. Okay, and you want the offset plane to be at the same in this one. So make it zero. Click on enter because I want, it, I want to work on this one here. Okay, you go to sketch, rectangular, and then two point rectangular. Of course, you can use the, the pan here to go down, okay, and double click to go back. Now go from this corner, two points, so one click here, and then go down, 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 till you find this uh, square, blue square, with a dot inside, another click. So now you created a rectangular here. So don't forget to stop the sketch. So how to make this 2D to 3D? Component you simply go to create and then go to extrude and then click on this one You can play with this one go make it up or down or you can give straight forward the height in my case Let me put it 80 millimeter and here the operation make sure it's new body Make sure it's always new body because you want a new body to be created. Okay, and then click on enter now you do have this this 3d object go to the home view now you need to make this one shell you need to empty what is inside this one how to do that just go to modify and then click on shell and then click on this one now if you click so see you need to select so select this one now there there will be a, a input here you just write the thickness of the uh, the object so here let me make it two millimeter and then click on enter now you have an empty box inside okay now go to the home view now i need to create a cover for this shell so how to do that again you need to create plane so you can draw whatever you want to draw or create whatever you want okay so how to do that again construct offset plane this time you want you want the plane to be on this one right so select this one and make it zero Enter again now you have this plane you can sketch whatever you want to do here let me go to sketch again rectangular two point rectangular and then click on this one okay again create a box a, rec a rectangular box of course i cannot do that up 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 like this yeah and then double click so i can go back to to my rectangle so i click one here and then the other click i will make it down here enter so now you create another rectangular you just stop sketching now you want this it's only 2d so you need to, to make it what 3d right so again go to create extrude and then click on this one and give it a height for example uh, five family okay and then click on enter so now you create a cover for the cell here 